Okay, well, uh, I would like to welcome everyone to the StarMed uh, Thyroid RFA Benign and Malignant Nodule webinar. Uh, we're pleased you can join us. Uh, I'm very pleased to be hosting and moderating uh, this event and especially pleased that I have my good friends and renowned faculty uh, to join me in this. Okay, great. So this is a, uh, a uh, overlay on today's presentation and several of the faculty members uh, involved in today's presentation were involved in this. And we hope that this American Head and Neck Society joint consensus statement, which will be published within the next two to three months will be helpful in the field in general uh, relating to global harmony and how these ablative treatments are rolled out. This is the radio frequency ablation and related ultrasound guided ablation technologies for treatment of benign and malignant thyroid disease, an international multidisciplinary consensus statement. Com Competency-based medical education has as one of his fundamental biases the acquisition of technical skills and we get them with simulation on phantoms, practice in animal model or cadaver lab and learning in the operating room. These are pictures of our course in Medellin in which we acquire all these skills through simulation before doing an evaluation in a patient. Well, right, right. I think that uh, most of the laryngeal uh, nerve lesions are asymptomatic. And if you have any change of voice during the procedure, uh, maybe it's very important uh, 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 gave to the patient to the laryngeal, laryngeal formal examination because uh, many patients with lesions do not have changes of voices. So if you have any, any issue during the procedure that could su suggest a lesion, maybe the patient, the patient needs a laryngeal examination. Uh, approximately uh, 100 to 150,000 thyroidectomies are performed in the U.S. Uh, each year. 53,000 patients uh, developed thyroid cancer in the U.S. in 2020. This means that the vast majority of thyroidectomies are performed uh, for benign diseases. Yes, uh, as I showed in, the, in, in, my, in my presentation, uh, it's very, very common that the nodule uh, looks like a Tihad's five. It's uh, because the, the, the shrink of the nodule and the, the, the coagulative necrosis give uh, sometimes even for huge nodules uh, uh, a different aspect that sometimes it uh, can uh, confound uh, the, the, the radiologist or the doctor who is performing the ultrasound. See. Uh, there are several uh, types of uh, active tips. This table shows a uh, size of active tips from 0.4 to 1.5. And the indicated tumor, I prefer uh, these indications and uh, suggested RF power uh, is my experience. So uh, for treating um, PTMC, I prefer the five millimeter active tip and I use uh, 10 to 20 watt of RF power. Uh, maybe it means in benign thyroid nodules, not, not uh, PTMC. So in benign thyroid nodules, I prefer to aspirate the uh, CC fluid first, but during aspiration of CC fluid, sometimes we experience bleeding from the uh, benign thyroid nodule. At that time, please remove blood uh, quickly and then inject ethanol. Also, thank StarMed for coordinating all of this uh, to allow us to teach surgeons really from all around the world. With that, I want to thank everyone and uh, uh, hope that you have a very good weekend and thank you for your time and expertise. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you again, my friends. Thank you very see much. You. See you. See you.